Video is recording. Now we're recording on here. Launch Dungeon Keeper. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Hello everybody and welcome back to Retroactive Gamers. Tim here and uh, I figured we'd take a blast from the past and do uh, Dungeon Keeper. I'm also, I've moved the audio so, um, recorder so that possibly you'll get a better sound. Who knows? Trial and error, we'll see. So I figured we'd play through the campaign and you know, I'm trying to play games by myself that would take a while normally but I don't want to bore my little bit. Welcome, Keeper. Before you lies a happy and carefree realm. The local champion, Lord Antonius, holds the first portal gem you require. Learn how to construct a dungeon and build up your forces so that you can crush Lord Antonius and wipe the smile from his face. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can tell I've played this a couple times. Lord Antonius. Behold, your dungeon heart. Protect it well, for if it is destroyed, you will be banished forever from this land. <laughs> oh, what a great game. <clears throat> Here walks the goodly Lord Antonius. Tis he who holds the precious portal gem. But only when you've mustered strength sufficient should you challenge him and claim your prize. <laughs> This game was honestly like Lair. one of my childhood favorites. Hatchery. I remember like playing it, um, Jesus, when I was like, what? Well done. Twelve, I think. And now your faithful servant imps will carry back your gold to Dungeon Heart. Whoa. Once here, it can be spent. The golden scale atop the screen keeps track of your reserves. A start indeed, but more gold is required. 12,000 units should be mine. Sorry, I hate to talk over the other guy. Um, that's why I'm mostly silent. <coughs> Red flowers float above your imps. These give measure to their health. Their skill acquired and reflect the simple thoughts within. Well, anyways, so as I was saying, like this is a really, really fun game that I would play um, when I was a kid. And I guess you can tell already that I'm a fairly avid um, real-time strategy game player. Like, I love real-time strategy. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I don't know, just something about it. Like, I love the whole strategic thing. Like, the planning out your base and how you're going to lay it out, where the traps are going to be, where... It, it, to me, it's just... It's fun. Um, Excellent work, Keeper. You are ready to recruit more creatures to your cause. Oh, See? good. A portal near your Oops. dungeon heart to where your imps must dig. They'll claim this portal to be yours. Oh, You'll yes. see what beasts emerge. It'll be goblins. Weak little fucking goblins. Your dungeon goblins. heart is full of gold. No more than 16,000 can it hold. That's okay, because we can make a hatchery. And a lairs. place of rest where creatures sleep to calm their temples and restore their health. Your lair is built. Now right-click to cancel building mode. Oh, people, come on, dig faster, let's go, come on. I like how when they're capturing something, they're stomping the floor. <clears throat> like, look at this. Oh, uh, you can't even... Uh, can I zoom in? Nope. Nope. Can't zoom in. Well, I could if I... I'm not gonna risk it. I don't wanna accidentally do something that might screw up the game. <coughs> hmm. Alright, now that we've got our giant lair established with way more than enough stuff. Let's take our way into the hatchery. The hatchery. I think that should be a big enough hatchery. A place where creatures feed on favored food. The eggs will hatch and chickens then emerge to satisfy their appetites. I know this is like an old game, but I can't help but think, what if someone doesn't like chicken? What if someone, what if, what if the monsters wanted, I don't know, like, cow, beef. It's like, no, you're going to get chicken and you're going to like it. Okay. 
Oh, another reason why I moved the recorders because <clears throat> this game doesn't allow you really to use a, uh, a controller. Behold your portal, <clears throat> the gate through which new I mean, creatures enter your domain. It could, Dawn but it would just be difficult. The rooms which you provide. And I don't really figure people want to hear really well, loudly. A goblin has entered your domain. On his own, he is a cowardly beast, but in a horde becomes a useful fighting force. I've never really had much use for the goblins, Good actually. Progress, <coughs> See? Your goblins are well rested in their lair, and their bellies full with juicy chicken flesh. Work harder. Now keep watch, for very soon more goblins will arrive, and then your numbers will be strong enough to challenge Lord Antonius. Work harder. A slap. To administer another, right click on any of your creatures, then watch. They'll toil a little faster. <laughs> also suffer modest injury. Really, a modest injury, you say? Yeah, the thing with slapping is like it hurts your units, but you can see that his efficiency is 80 and now it's 90. But if you slap them too many times, they will go unconscious and they will become unhappy. I'll show you a demonstration right now. <laughs> oh shit, I just <laughs> I just knocked him down. Whoops. Um Hey, you wanna pick him up? Creature up. To drop him, right click anywhere on your land. You could see that he was starting to get unhappy. You could look at the I sense a breach. The servants of Antonius Shit. have broken through um, the wall. Well, that wouldn't be a very good idea. Your gaze to see them now by right clicking on the flashing blade. But worry not this time. For it is only dwarves, who feeble as they are, pose little threat against your goblins. They're going for the gold. Stop them. The hapless enemy dwarfs are being crushed. Observe the white crushed. health flowers which appear above them. When they're near to death, you'll see that only one last petal shows. Did they just spawn in the walls? There's no passageway. Alright, well, ooh. Magical box. How many creatures do we have? We got five goblins, okay. So let's see if we can't make it worth our ah, while. I see you have discovered a magical item. Your goblin force is large enough to challenge Lord Antonius for his portal. Journey. Really? Tunnel north and you will find your smug opponent skulking in his keep. Oh shit, well. Your creatures have been blessed with experience. Away, keeper! You shall not taint Smilesville with your evil ways. All right, let's go. Come on, get up, go, go, go. go. See how the petals of his white health flower. This marks him down as your prime target. Take him out. Well, I would if you stop talking, sir. Bravo, keeper. Woo. Lord Antonius is for Bribe you all. The portal gem lies aside his helpless form. In wait for Horny to collect it so it's yours. And come see now. You don't need to see that. All he does is literally walk over and Hot pick up the soul gem and hold it up. That'd be painful. That'd be painful, not gonna lie. Well done, Keeper. You have successfully ended the life of Lord Antonius, and you have claimed your first portal gem as well. This is a most promising start. Thank you. i just put in uh, our tag. Yep. All right. Well, that was easy. I mean, the introduction level, it gets a lot harder. Sing song. <coughs> a joyous land filled with light and music. Let us silence their wailing voices once and for all. 
I like his tone. Yeah, kind of his jib. Darius presents himself against you now. He's more worthy as a foe. But use the rooms you won from Smilesville to good employ, and you'll slay him dead just like Antonius. Library. Training room. First, build a lair, and then a hatchery, then claim the portal near your dungeon heart. Okay, claim the portal, build your hatchery, and build a library. See, the great thing about this game, and I love it, is planning out all your rooms at the beginning of the game. Um, go this way, and we'll make a training room. Perfect. And since the thing's full, we'll just leave it for now. They'll cut through everything. They'll leave all the gold. <coughs> Ooh, do we have the create? Oh, we don't have the create M spell yet. That's okay. Soon enough. Dig faster, minions. You may not like the layout of my base, I'd, I'd just go with it. Go with the flow. I mean, technically, you could build it, like, one by one. I just... A decent-sized room, I mean, let's see how many spaces this is. Three by five? Perfect. So it'll be 15. Up to 15 creatures can go into through the portal, so... That's plenty of room, so we have everyone has a lair. I'm... Don't know why he decided to do everything but these three patches. Whatever. I'm sure he'll come back to it. I hope. You. Go and start digging there. Keep building. You might wonder why I'm not, like, building my base yet. The, the reason is, is because as soon as you start building your base... The gold is going to go down, which means that the gold goes down, they're going to start collecting the gold and stop capturing rooms. And I really don't think we're going to be under attack any second. I mean, this is only the second level, and not, you know, in hell. Because if that was in hell, and on like the last level, they'll just start running in like in the first two minutes. Come on, come on. The training room is a place where fighting creatures hone their skills. It's also a place where you suck. Okay. You guys are almost done capturing. I can start doing this then. And oh, no, I don't want that. I want this. A task well done. But training creatures will cost gold. Yes, it will. The library, where warlocks wise can hone their evil craft, perfecting spells for you to cast at goodly foes. More gold is needed. Oh, look, the Art warlock. Now, a warlock has arrived to study spells within your library. His research will serve your magic well. Restrict him not, though, to his books, for when in battle he may prove formidable with fireballs. Now, there's no books to study from. Every bookcase in your library will attract another warlock to your realm. Your library is too small Yay. to hold your spells. A size of 4x4 four four is what's required. Yeah, but a 4x4 four four will do like barely anything. Come on, people. Imps, what are you doing? Gather the gold. Stop worrying about that shit. But... <laughs> Good lord. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it myself. I don't need you imps. You're useless. There we go. Um, and just in case they get a little bit peckish while they're fighting. 
or training, we can give them a little thing there. Because I know that a lot of the time, one of my big problems when I play this game is that I put the um, the money or I put the hatchery too far away from the training room so they'll go to their lair or by the time they get to the hatchery they get really upset and they're like, oh man, freak human. Big problem, big problem. First world problems. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. I would like the lizard actually, if I get the lizard this round. Probably not. So now we get the joyous ta task of sitting back and relaxing. Because they're off training. He's studying. Well, they're studying. And, uh, Goblin's about to train. Work faster. Faster, I say. Faster. So meanwhile, when the imps don't have any tasks to do, you can see they're, um, they're cutting through, or reinforcing the walls, making it harder if you were to play multiplayer for enemies to cut through, or even now, making it harder for people to cut through. Um, like the dwarfs, which I'm imagining are probably about to cut through one of these walls, because the water is right here. Yeah, we'll just cut through there. Keep in mind that when you're reinforcing a wall, that your imps have found some dwarfs. Oh boy! These righteous little pests may stray onto your land, and if they do, destroy them. Oh shit! So that's what shit. they deserve. Come on! Fight! Damn you! Fight! Fight! Maybe it was a bad idea to probably open that too soon. Come on! <laughs> make good progress. One improves his skill to level two. A creature can train as high as level four, but that's the limit. Further skill can only be attained out on the battlefield. Or in a combat pit, but they don't tell you that first. The paltry dwarfs are now destroyed. Allow your creatures time to rest and eat. When ready, guide them north to find Lord Darius's keep. Yeah, it probably would have been a good idea to wait a little bit for them to uh, get cozy. A left click on your creature picks it up. A right click on claimed land then lets it drop. Be wary though. Don't drop them too near enemies. For the dropping stuns these beasts a time. And makes them vulnerable to enemy attack. I like how the first few levels they introduce the characters that aren't tanks. Like, when you look at the characters, it tells you the stats, so the fighting style for the warlock is support. He's supposed to be in the back. Um, the flanker, he's meant to be, like, coming from behind. Magic, and it's this you spend each time you cast a spell. Your mana level shown in green atop the screen. Your land will gradually renew it as it's spent. Cast your new spell to create an imp. Just so one imp? now the panel of spells and select the imp's head symbol. Then cast it with a click on any land. Just one? A good Make babies. Keeper. Work for me. You've made good use of your warlock's studious research. <laughs> oh god. Work harder, damn you. I'm not paying you by the hour. What is that? That's like... What? Good lord. Imps are creatures born of magic and cost mana to sustain. You can see that in the top little red bar. Which is currently 84, I believe. It's kind of hard the to see. The time has come for you to face Lord Darius. I don't want to face Tag him yet. the flashing tiles. Your imps will tunnel to his keep. Why, why do I want to fight him right now? My people are, like, still studying. Apparently I'm ready to fight him, although I had no idea I was ready to fight him. They're only level 3, and a lot of my warlocks are 
not you may wish to train level your two. to improve their skills to do this drop a warlock in the training room. yeah you guys need to train for sure a new spell oh look lightning bolt searched. thunderbolt your warlocks now have studied further offering you another spell to cast through which a thunderbolt is yours to hurl against such foolish enemies who dare invade your turn. Right. Well, unfortunately, before we go and attack them, we're going to have to end the episode here. But thank you so much for watching. Likes are appreciated. Subscribes are also appreciated. And as always, we will meet again. And until then, keep up the gaming.